Absolutely is, Chris. Scientists went into great detail today describing what exactly it's going to take to land successfully on Mars and what we stand to gain if InSight makes it. Best said, the mission team has high hopes and realistic expectations. Lift off of the Atlas V. Scientists know exactly where they want to end up. It's the getting there, and specifically the final moments of the trip, that has them holding their breath. In the last six and a half minutes, as the InSight lander plunges towards Mars, they say the 800 pound spacecraft will have to drop from 12,300 miles per hour to five in order to safely land. It'll take a lot of science, like a supersonic parachute, and then frankly, a lot of luck as InSight free falls before the reverse thrusters kick in. Do we take the risk because it takes that risk to have that reward? The reward that has opened our understanding of worlds near and far. If arrival goes well, and it's a big if because only 40% of Mars missions have landed, InSight will study the deep interior of the planet, mapping the inside of Mars in three dimensions, deploying solar panels and a robotic arm to place a seismometer and a heat probe to track temperature and quakes. Scientists say the crust of Mars is a snapshot into what Earth's crust might have looked like four and a half billion years ago and could help explain planetary evolution. In order to understand the formation of the Earth, the way that the Earth evolved into a planet which is habitable, which has oceans, which has an atmosphere, which has a, a nice, uh, nice temperature, if you're, not, um, if you're not in New York right now at least, it's a nice temperature. And, um, whereas other planets did not go that way. InSight is the first interplanetary NASA mission to be launched from California. It left here on May 5th. Back to you.